guys welcome back to the channel so we're actually playing Planet Zoo on PC right now this is my franchise zoo on PC I wanted to do it on PlayStation and I actually have like three videos all ready to go but the problem is on PS5 right now uh, there's a huge disconnect issue on the franchise and it's just not working so we we did this on the live stream on last Friday, so I'm just kind of going through here, recapping. One thing we did change, we put a path into the uh, the tortoise habitat so the people can go in and they can actually interact with the tortoises. Uh, we made this building on stream. I wasn't too happy with it. I'm still not exactly happy with it. I made a much better one on console, similar to that, but just so much better. Um, so let's take a look over here. We have our aardvarks. And uh, this is such a cool little habitat. So where are they? We don't see them, right? We don't have any. Oh, wait, there's one. There's one right there coming out from its its little burrow. And I absolutely love love this part of the game. So let's just click on the burrow and check this out. We can actually see these guys in their burrow. Uh, that one just left. This one here, I don't know. I'm thinking that they're probably going to get ready to exit as well. I mean, I absolutely just love that. I mean, the fact that they thought of everything like that is just so cool. But this is our aardvark habitat, and they're actually doing pretty good. Even though that's not two-way glass, which it should be, as soon as we get that unlocked, we will change that to two-way glass. And we maybe we'll extend that to make a little bit bigger of a viewing area, too, because as of right now, it's not a huge viewing area. So this space here, this is where I plan on putting our next habitat, but we need to figure out what kind of animals we want to put in here so I'm kind of leaning towards a multi-species habitat here we haven't done that yet and I'd really like to so these buffalo these African buffalo I know we can mix those with uh, something I'm pretty sure we can mix them with uh, like wildebeest and warthogs and stuff like that so that's definitely an option uh, American bison I don't want to do that just yet I still want to keep a little bit of the African theme here. Uh, maybe we'll do, maybe this will be the last African animal we get, animal habitat that we get. Then we'll start going into uh, something else perhaps. All right, so we have some black wildebeest here. We only have females though. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be a problem. Let's check the Zoopedia quickly here. Uh, okay, so female bachelor group. Okay, so you can have a bachelor group. If we get a male, we need to only get one. So we will end up getting a male at some point. Yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good to go. I think we can actually get them. I just need to check the size here. So let's go three adults. And let's see here. Okay, so these are the, uh, the animals that we can mix them with. Pretty cool. Pretty good range. Okay, so yeah, I think we'll do that. So maybe we'll get some uh, zebra or, or something in here. We'll just have to check and see what we have.
Okay, so I can't really afford the uh, the Cape Buffalo. Um, so I think we're going to go with the Zebra. I think that's going to be the, uh, the best option. So what do we have here? Oh, that's a nice one, but I can't afford that. Uh, we can really only afford cash. Um, I think we got to get those credits up by releasing more animals. So ooh, what's, that's like an albino one. What a beauty he is. Uh, yeah, so we don't have the conservation credits to do that. So what we'll do is we'll just get these for cash right now. It looks like the only thing we can afford are females. I don't see any males up for adoption here. So I think we'll uh, we'll take those. And now we need to create a habitat. So I kind of want to outline this. Um, I have an idea in my head, and what I want to do is I want to create a path. That's the first thing we're going to do here. Uh, I think we'll just keep it to stone path, and I want to align this to a grid. So we'll do that, and we'll start building this out a bit. Um, I just have to think where I want this. So yeah, we'll... Build out this way. So my idea is to have kind of a raised path. And the path is going to go all around the enclosure. So every every bit of it will be visible. Um, some of the habitats that we have now, uh, there are certain areas that are visible. And then there are certain areas that aren't, which is fine. But I think for an exhibit like this, I definitely want to have people be able to see it from all areas, you know. So I want to make this first and get the height. Now, <laughs> I need to go and I need to figure out how high I need the barriers because I don't want them jumping over the fence. And we don't want to go there. We want to go to Zoopedia up there. So... No, don't click on the African buffalo. What are you doing? Black wildebeest. Yeah, click that on. There we go. <laughs> so where do I have to go to find this out? Uh, uh, water requirements. Okay, right there. So grade two, 4.125 foot. All right, so that's what we need to do. We need to get that height. Uh, let's figure out which one we want here. Uh, I don't want wood. Chain link. Chain link would be cool. That's a grade two. Um, that would be perfect for them. And honestly, uh, thinking about this now, putting chain link, I, I could technically run a path on the ground as well because you can see it from up high and you can see it from down low. But, uh, you know, I think that's that may be a little, a little bit of an overkill. But then again, you know what? Who knows? All right, guys. So we're going to build this habitat. I'm going to attempt to do a time lapse here. Uh, so bear with me. I've never done one on the PC before. And uh, yeah, let's let's get this habitat built. I I'm excited.
so we got that done. Not looking too bad. Um, maybe it went a little crazy with the uh, the rough terrain, but I, I kind of like it. I mean, we're going to try to straighten this a little bit. Uh, I don't want to pull that down, so we're just going to kind of pull the ground up here. There we go. I think that looks good. The shelter is very simple, but it, it'll do. Uh, what I'd like to do is possibly put windows in the back. Uh so I kind of left it open like that so people can look in, but at the same time, I'm kind of thinking that it may disturb the animals. Um, I don't exactly know how that works in the game. Um, so one thing that you can see that I did, uh, I put a little information zone down because I kind of felt that I, uh, I needed to do that. Because we didn't have anything like that, and I probably shouldn't do that as I'm, uh, I don't know, <laughs> doing stuff like this, but it's, it's all right. We'll, uh try to get all of this done here so I want to put bedding down for these guys I want to make them all nice and happy although I don't really think bedding has anything to do with the animal welfare at least not that I can see but I just think it it looks better and you know I mean just the thought of that you know they're animals and they want to they want to lay down in something nice and cozy and soft so yeah we yeah we do that so overall I'm I'm liking this habitat, but <laughs> it, it kind of occurred to me, was it a waste to, to put the, the chain link fence because I have the path raised up? I don't know. I don't know. I don't think so, and I kind of like the way it looks. So, I don't know. I mean... What I was thinking of doing in this area is just raising up everything and having like maybe some food and stuff on that raised path. But now I'm kind of thinking maybe we want to have a couple a couple staircases leading down so then people can actually see these animals up on that path or down on the ground. I don't know. I don't know. Let me know in the comments, guys. What do you think I should do? Do you think I should I should uh, have some drinks and, and food stands raised up on that path? Or just leave that path for the animals and uh, build around it? So we do need to give these guys food. We don't need to worry about water because I did give them a, a, little, a little pond there that they absolutely love. It's funny. Every time you put water in this game, uh, it seems like the animals, they, they go right to it. Especially the hooked animals they they jump right in man they they can't wait to get that swim all right so we need to get some veterinarians doing some research here we need to research the wildebeest and the zebras uh the tortoise and the the aardvarks they're they're completely done so we need to get their enrichment and let's just check these guys because it says that she's about to give birth uh which one? The one in the burrow or the one coming out? I'm assuming it's the one coming out of the burrow. Okay. So normally when they give birth, they kind of just pick a spot and lay down. Is she going to do it? Mm. Offspring imminent. Okay, so she's, she's the one. Let's just back up here. Camera troubles, guys. I'm still, I'm still learning here. Uh, let's see. She's just gonna take a drink. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I don't think she's going to uh, give birth. Maybe she doesn't want to give birth while we're watching. Totally understandable. I will give her her privacy. So, what do we need to do now? Animal trading. Um, we still need to find a male. To put in here, uh, boy, <laughs> all of the male zebras are out of our price range. So let's go down to the black wildebeest and let's see if we can at least find a male there that we can afford. Oh boy, okay, we can afford this one. So for some reason, I can only get these with the conservation credits I don't know I'm not really sure what that means I'm gonna be honest with you guys um, I don't know if it means they're endangered or something so maybe that's why uh, I don't know 
But the zebras, I don't know how we're going to get a male zebra. Um, all of the male zebras are very much out of our price limit. And we only have 428 of the conservation credits. And I believe the only way you can get more is by releasing animals to the wild. So, all right. Now we need to, of course, decorate the habitat, the, uh, the most fun, right? This is always where I'm uh, super indecisive. So let's let's get this done here. Uh, Cypress? Mm. That's African? Yeah, I don't... I don't like that. I don't like that at all. What about these mangrove uh, coconut palms? That's that's pretty cool. I mean, that just gives me African vibes right there. So let's put some in the corners. So I'm not gonna time lapse this, guys. Uh, I will. I will show this process of the decorating because this is probably my favorite part of building the habitats. Okay, so I love putting trees around uh, their, their bedding areas. You know, it's just kind of. Gives them a little bit of privacy, a little bit of shade. Right? No one likes sun shining on them when they're trying to sleep. Oh, that's not, that's not good. I don't like that. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's let's not worry about that. So these mangrove trees might look good right around the edge of the water here. Yeah, I kind of like that. I like that a lot. Get some different sized ones in here. These are cool. I like these. These these look really good. So I'm already kind of thinking ahead to the next one. And why uh, I was thinking about this, this elevated thing, I was thinking of building another habitat off of that path. And maybe doing some saltwater crocodiles. That's That's what I was kind of thinking. And... Honestly, I'm still leaning in that direction. So let's see here. Finding the right one. You gotta find the right one. Find the right plant. Okay. Reeds. You can't go wrong with reeds. These are literally found everywhere, it seems. These are in America, these are in Africa. You can always find reeds around water. So let's let's start placing these. And you know, sometimes the random rotation is good. Sometimes it's not so good. Nope, I didn't want to favorite those. Okay, so we will have to rotate these manually because I don't like where that was. And let's just sink them down a little bit. I love that look. I love it where it looks like they're, they're just growing out of the water like that. So the more I play this game, the more... Um, detail oriented, the, the more in depth I will get with building these, the, the more I will, uh, you know, really put a lot of thought into them. I'm really thinking of checking out these animals, uh, maybe on YouTube or online and, and seeing what their habitats look like. Even maybe checking out some videos of real zoos and see, see what real zoos, uh, you know, how they, they display them. So now it's time for the rocks and I absolutely love placing rocks this here i mean i could literally spend hours just placing rocks because i feel like the rocks just bring something something to it right i mean this really makes it pop i think so we're just going to scatter a bunch of these all over here like this You know, it, does anybody else feel like this is just like really relaxing doing this, landscaping these? I mean, I, I really feel like, uh, you know, you kind of get like your Bob Ross <laughs> mode or something here. You know, it's just, it's so relaxing. Just placing all these different trees and in, in, in rocks and, and all that and just seeing this habitat change and come alive i absolutely love it and i get a kick how the animals are just going about their business like it's okay just you know <laughs> rocks are just appearing out of thin air all right so let's let's throw some back here i believe i do want to leave some open areas for these guys because 
I'm guessing they are kind of like a, uh, a plains animal. Not a plains animal, but you know what I mean. Whatever they have in Africa. Uh, savanna, I guess. A savanna animal, you would say. Okay, mechanic cannot reach. Why? Why can't the mechanic reach here? I, I have a path. The path is connected to that path. You know. You know what I just realized? <laughs> the people that come all the way around, they can't. They can't leave there because that's connected to a staff path. So I'm actually recording my commentary um, later as I'm editing this. Uh, that's just the easiest way to go with this game. Yeah, look at that. I had that connected to a staff path. So that means the, the guests that they come off there, uh, they got to go all the way to the staff path and realize they got to go all the way back. Oh, that would that would piss me off a lot. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so uh, yeah, but for the next the next video or live stream, we will definitely fix that. Uh, we'll have to change it change it around somehow. Uh, so what I may do, I may cut it and go around because I don't want the the customers. I don't want the guests going towards the water treatment plant there. Uh, okay, so what do we have here? We have some enrichment items. We have food and some toys for the zebras. So that's cool. Uh, let's go down here and let's see here. Where is this guy? Where is this mechanic? Tortoise, tortoise. Uh, hmm. I don't know what his problem is. I don't know why he can't make it to here. Uh, let's go to the work zone. Okay, so let's uh yeah, let's add this habitat to his workstone area. Maybe that's why I I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. Alright. So I guess now we just kinda wait and see. <laughs> why are the people all queued up right there though? That's uh I don't understand that. Look at them. They're they're like all right there. All right, let's put in some donation boxes because we should be making. We are making money. I mean, if you see 138,000 for franchise mode, that's not that's not bad at all. That's actually pretty good. Um, so I think we did a good job. We we did two smaller habitats uh, with animals that are uh, easier to take care of. And now that our money's up, now we do like the the big exhibit and. Depending on the size, of, I, we, this is a good size. Um, I was thinking about putting the cave buffalo in here, um, like I was saying in the beginning. But now, I'm thinking maybe we'll leave it zebra and and wildebeest. I mean, what we could do is just leave it females, so they don't they don't breed, so we don't have to make it any bigger. Uh, but I don't think I want to do that. So we already. We already got a male wildebeest that's going to be uh, coming in here. I really would like a male zebra, but I don't know. We got to wait and see if we can't get one with some money here. So we'll put down some education boards because education is a huge, huge thing in this game, which I, uh, I kind of appreciate that, you know. So we'll put them around here. And, uh, you know, I really like the fact that they can see in to that shelter. Uh, but again, I feel like it, it's got to be, I don't know, it doesn't seem ideal, does it? So we'll, we'll have to change that. Um, we'll have to put glass in there, I think. I think that'll be the way to go. I don't know if I have glass panels unlocked <laughs> on, on, this, on this game, but yeah. Okay, so what's up with these guys? They're hungry. They're thirsty. They're always hungry and thirsty. Like, I don't get it. You know, I have, what? Well, I only have one drink stand and one one food stand, so... That may be a problem. Okay, we'll put an education board here. And maybe one over on the other side. I mean, not a lot of people are coming over here. And honestly, it's probably because they have to walk all the way back. Yeah, see those people? Those people are coming back because they can't they can't get to here from there. Because they can't they can't walk on the stat path. 
Oh, you know what? I wonder if that's what the issue is with their energy. <laughs> I bet it is. Oh boy. Okay. Yeah, we'll we'll definitely take care of that. Um, another thing I should check out. I think that that water treatment should be able to reach this water here as well. Looking pretty good. There's still more we can do, but uh, it's it's not looking too bad. So research complete for Black Wildebeest. Uh, so what did we unlock? Food enrichment and better food. So we will have to do that. Um, we're not going to do that right now, but we will give them some food enrichment. Uh, okay, that's a zebra. What do we have for them? Okay, grazing feeder ball. So let's put one of those down. Uh, that didn't do too much for them. Okay, toys, herb set marker. Let me see here. Oh, what was that? Let me check the uh, the wildebeest. Let's see what they have. If they have something they can share, that would be awesome. Okay, so herb scent marker for them as well. Uh, that's it. Okay. All right, so we'll put a couple of these down here. Wow, that that made the wildebeest very happy. That should have made the zebra happy as well. Now oh, there we go. Let's shed some light on here. Ah, the, the animal models look so good here. Uh, I'm not crazy about them clipping, but you know it is it is what it is. But as you can see, guys, it's very much the same game. Like I've I've tried. I've tried to find things. I, I thought there were a couple things on the PC side that weren't on the console side, but I was wrong. When I got back in the console and I had a closer look, they're there. Um, like, for example, I'm not doing it in this uh, this video, but I will show you guys the next one. If you click onto the water, you can change the color of the water. You can add bubbles and mist. You can do it on console, too. It's there. It's all there. The stamp tool. Everything. Like, everything in the PC side is on the console side as well. But that's the, uh, that's the zoo for now, guys. Um, I think that's where we're going to end the video for today. And, oh, look at We got a little baby aardvark. Oh, he's so cute. We're going to have to uh, put some counterceptive on him. But, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, you know, leave a like, subscribe. Uh, I don't get a lot of uh, attention on the PC games. I hope you're having a fantastic day, and we'll see you next time.